Alright guys, uh, this is Master Bruce coming to you. I will be your savage host today. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about what Doom brings to the table. Um, Alright, so let's get started with the campaign. Uh, let's go to game slot 2. And... Let's go to a new slot, actually. Start campaign. I'm gonna start on hurt me plenty. That seems like a normal mode. Um, yes, I started this game already. Um, kind of starting the game over just to kind of introduce you to it, and then I'll go back to my original file, and you can kind of catch up to the point of where I'm at. So, let's wait for this to load. They are rage. Brutal. Without mercy. But you, you will be worse. Rip and tear. Until it is done. So as you can see, I just kind of woke up in this room. Uh, I don't really explain exactly what you have to do, but I'll come over here, press R3. You'll come across this a couple times in the game. Uh, basically what it is, it's a hologram of what had already happened. We have to continue. And it just kind of gives you a hint of where you're supposed to go. There are a lot of hidden objects and other things in this game. Uh, one of which is I'm going to come over here and get the suit. If you've watched the movie before, if you've played the older Doom, this suit might look a little familiar. So... Cannot determine the cause of the demonic invasion until the Resop satellite is brought back online. Welcome. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. <laughs> One thing I would like to point out is that voice that you just heard is not, but if you really pay attention, it does kind of sound like uh, Ultron from Avengers. But here we go. We're going to start down this path here. Alright, so this is basically what's called a glory kill. It's when, they're sta when the enemies are staggering around, you press R3 and he does some kind of like combo.
makes it really easy if you stun them first by using bullets. Um, but because bullets are, I mean, they're pretty common in the game, but uh, makes it a lot easier to not really waste your bullets so that you can still have a lot of them in the time of desperate need. Here comes one of my favorite weapons, which is the shotgun. Well, later on, you do get an upgraded one, but you get you do get to keep both. This shotgun is amazing, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect. Oh, by the way, glory kills can happen from any position. And yes, with them hitting each other, it can also start um, them each other to stagger. Uh, this right here is called a nest. So once I destroy this, I'll actually get swarmed with a whole bunch of other enemies. And let's just watch them swarm. There's different enemies. As you can see, some of them throw fireballs. to keep forgetting I'm not where I'm at so I don't have double jump if you press R1 you can press and hold R1 you can switch between weapons like I said you always want to conserve bullets as much as possible Pistol is actually really powerful. Demonic presence at five safe levels. Lockdown. I hate this one die. That was a bad example of the pistol being powerful. That's a good example. As you destroy an enemy, you will get health. So that is one Demon bonus, so you never have to go around looking Lockdown. for it. Disengaged. But in times of need, you can't find it. I keep forgetting I'm not far ahead, so I gotta, I gotta jump the hard way. Those little green things kind of help build up a defense. If you can't tell, there's a little shield down in the left-hand corner where you also have a health bar. The bottom right, you'll see the weapon that you have chosen, uh, the amount of ammo. He and she's gonna talk to me again. This place. He would ruin everything. I press this. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now, yes. But it was worth the risk, I assure you.
And now that all that loud music is done and over with, um, see if I can actually turn that audio down a little bit. Turn it to like 60. I'll do the same thing with the sound effects. Just so you guys can kind of hear me in case you can't. Okay, so basically, if you didn't catch wind already, my objective is to cross this desert to that station way over there in the distance and reactivate the radar system. Uh, obviously, I have done that already. Um, I'm not going to go through all of it again. Uh, what I'm kind of going to do now is just kind of go back to the main menu. Um, Except, and I'll just go back to my current game status, kind of show you what's going on. I have not played in a few days, so please don't judge me for being lost in the campaign if <laughs> I start sucking. I'll probably do one part of the mission to the next save point and that'll be it for my first video because I just kind of want to do a test run and then from this point on I'll uh, I'll be bringing a lot more gameplay shared videos I think I gotta go down here. I think that's a plasma rifle. Oh yeah. I will kind of show you a little bit about the creatures that I've come across. Um, so that's the summoner. Uh, that is kind of like a witch. She likes to teleport a lot. Uh, and then she'll send like these plasma blasts at you. Um, there's the Baron of Hell. He's pretty tough. He'll charge at you like a battery ram, kind of hence the horns. Um, but that's all he really does. He's very tough uh, skin layer, so you have to waste a lot of bullets trying to kill him. Uh, the Cacodemon, which you just saw me kill, um, obviously there's not much to him. He doesn't come to the ground, he always floats in the air, and he just kind of spits like acid at you. Uh, the Hell Knights, these ones are very powerful with their hits. Um, as you can see, it kind of gives you how many kills you've gone on it and how many glory kills you have on it. Um, I've come across quite a few of those ones. Uh, imps, obviously, those are going to be like the pawns in a chess game. Uh, those are going to be everywhere no matter where you go. Uh, the Lost Souls, those are just the heads with the horns that you see there. Um, they... They just kind of hover around, and then when they catch wind of where you're at, they come charging directly at you. And if you're not quick enough to move 